There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. This ain't blackjack, Vinny. This is it. This is it. You see this guy here staring back at you? Yeah? That's your toughest opponent. Every time you get into the ring, that's who you're going against. I believe that in boxing, and I do believe that in life. Let me tell you something you already know. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Anger is your biggest tool. Fighting angry, that drains you twice as fast. Yeah, the guy in the ring is your enemy, but make his mistakes be his destruction. Now go out there and show me how you do things. Show me how you live. Show me how you fight. Because I want to be great. And you're not. I want to be one of the greats. You love this game. I mean, love it with your whole heart. Because if you don't, let's not even bother. Let's not open that door. They're just going to slam it right in our face. I love this game. I live this game. And there's a thousand other guys waiting in the wings who are obsessed with this game. Obsession is going to be talent every time. You got all the talent in the world, but are you obsessed? Is it all you ever think about? At some point, you will realize no one else has a say in your life unless you let them. Be kind and generous without expecting anything in return. God has entrusted me with myself. Epictetus Laziness travels so slowly that poverty soon overtakes him. It is only through an apprenticeship that one becomes a master. One of the great strategies for success is to act as if you are already where you want to be. Jack Canfield The nature of the universe, of the common substance of all things as it were, of so much wax hath now perchance formed a horse, and then destroying that figure, hath new tempered and fashioned the matter of it into the form and substance of a tree, then that again into the form and substance of a man, and then that again into some other. Now every one of these doth subsist but for a very little while. As for dissolution, if it be no grievous thing to the chest or trunk, to be joined together, why should it be more grievous to be put asunder? If I want to be ready for that meeting tomorrow, I need to finish preparing for it today. If I want to make sure I can pay for my kids' college education, I need to start saving today. If I want a better life tomorrow, I need to start working on it today. Ambition is a minute-by-minute, day-by-day mentality. To have the ambition to work towards a better family life, a newer car, a bigger house, a financially secure future, you have to live it every moment. If living a successful life was easy, I'm sure more people would be successful. If just being ambitious was enough, I'm sure all of the broke and perplexed people in the world wouldn't be broke and perplexed. While most people spend most of their lives struggling to earn a living, a much smaller number seem to have everything going their way. Instead of just earning a living, the smaller group is busily working at building and enjoying a fortune. Everything just seems to work out for them. And here sits the much larger group, wondering in awe on how life can be so unfair, complicated, and unjust. 
So what's the major difference between the little group with so much and the larger group with so little? Despite all the factors that affect our lives, like the kind of parents we have, the schools we attended, the part of the country we grew up in, none has as much potential power for doing good as the ability to dream. Dreams are a projection of the kind of life we want to lead. Dreams can drive you. Dreams can make you skip over obstacles. When we allow our dreams to pull us, they unleash a creative force that can overpower everything in our way. To unleash this power... We've got to do what's right for you, even if it hurts some people you love. Strong people are always simple. Dumb Spiro Sparrow, while I breathe I hope, Latin proverb. Fear not death, for the sooner we die, the longer we shall be immortal. To realize one's destiny is a person's only obligation. The essence of wisdom is to know when to stop. Alan Watts Even as if any of the gods should tell thee, Thou shalt certainly die tomorrow or next day, thou wouldst not, except thou wert extremely base and pusillanimous. Take it for a great benefit, rather to die the next day after than tomorrow, for alas, what is the difference? So, for the same reason, think it no great matter to die rather many years after than the very next day. Living out their true potential and not doing all of the things that they would really like to do is because of fear. Some people call fear false evidence or expectations appearing real. We are brilliant enough to scare ourselves to death. You realize that? What are the things that you fear? that's been keeping you from living your dream, that's been keeping you from doing some things that you would like to do. Just think about those things. And how do we begin to handle that? Abraham Maslow said that the life is about growth. And he said, you can either go back to your comfort zone and there you won't find any growth or be willing to go forward and face your fears because you're never going to have a fear-free existence. I mean, some fear is acceptable and legitimate. There are some things that you, you really should be afraid of. Now, you shouldn't allow it to immobilize you. You acknowledge it, you take it into account, and you carry yourself accordingly. There are times that we should proceed with caution, but it's the difference between being stopped by fear it's the difference between having a fear and the fear having you. So what do we do? One, acknowledge it and knowing that it's okay. Don't condemn yourself for being afraid. It's perfectly fine to have some fears. You acknowledge your fears, you embrace those fears, and then you move on. You act on whatever it is that you fear. Because once you embrace it, see, what you resist will persist. What you resist will persist. So one of the most important things is, is to begin to embrace your fear. The fear of bodily harm, that's legitimate. When I was a disc jockey in Columbus, Ohio, Al Green, who was a great performer at that time, had a record, his first hit record was Backup Train. So a guy came in the town and was impersonating Al Green. I happened to know Al Green because I'd already booked him. And so when I found out this guy was impersonating Al Green, I came on the air and did an editorial. Life will separate you from your friends, so appreciate each moment you have together. People are great at keeping secrets they don't know. A ship should not rely on one small anchor, nor should life rest on a single hope. Chinese proverb. Remember that what you now have was once among the things you only hoped for. Close some doors, not because of pride, incapacity or arrogance, but simply because they no longer lead somewhere.